Get the whole story. In terms of our journey, yeah, mm. uh, to, towards equitable representation mm. and uh, empowering our women, uh, the way we are doing it within the country, you've just spoken about how you guys are doing it in, in some of your programs. Mm. Overally looking at it as somebody who's observing this progress that you are making, mm. is, is it being done with with the realities on the ground recognizing some of these dynamics the societies that we are coming from uh which is uh, majority very very patriarchal you know mm -hmm. led by men is it something that are uh, it's being factored into the discussion and trying to turn that tide around well yeah, what i would say is that uh, the traction is starting mm -hmm. the ground is slippery but but we are we are having gains yeah? if i look at uh, the day my mom was 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 giving birth to us eh? the discrimination she used to tell me about how they were treated during those days eh? and uh, you know for example if you are a woman was employed in a school as a teacher and uh, and she gave birth before she is married the solution was sucker that was what was what used to be done those days that is not there today so there, there is changes and there are more opportunities that has come around. And, and if I look at my daughter and I look at my, my wife and my, my, my mother, my daughter is more clearer. She's willing to fight it out. She's willing to position herself. She's, she's willing to, to be on the table. Mm -hmm. But having said that, when you come now to real life, very much like you educate our girls that they are equal to the boys, there are certain stereotypes that we still put on them. Just like the way we, you deal with the children at home, when you have a small girl and you have a small boy, during birthday, you bring your daughter a doll and you bring your son a car. So what have you said? You, your, wife, your work is to give birth and your work is to be the provider. You, you, you are the martial guy. So those stereotypes have to be started to be be removed so that girls grow knowing because nurturing is everything that they are equal and they are able to become the engineer that 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 can be to become the architect to become the doctor and and and, and they should feel that right from beginning mm -hmm. there are no inhibitions that are created because nurturing is everything the way we were nurtured when we were young contributed to what we are today grocery so that that whole thing is, is is still have there's still room for our our parents even ourselves to keep reminding our daughters that they are equal but reminding them they are equal is not the same as saying that you are disempowered you need to be empowered it's being given equal opportunity being taken to schools properly being given the opportunity to actually get out there not giving to, not giving them too much pampering but hardening them. It's a hardening process that needs to be done. And once you do that, women have the ability. In fact, you know, you can imagine a woman can chew, breastfeed a baby, and walk. If you ever go and find a heap of sugarcane in one point, you know it was a man who was eating sugarcane at that point. The woman will do the three things. She will chew sugarcane, she will breastfeed the baby, and she will still walk around. That is how powerful women are. And you can say a um, person who has that ability mm -hmm. is a weaker person. They are stronger. They have only been suppressed. It's the shackles that were put on a young elephant when it's young, even when it grows old, it doesn't know that it has the ability to cut them off. And, and that's what we need to prepare women towards. And that's the, my challenge to women, is that we have, they have to overcome the challenges that have been thrown to them in their lifetime. I know, and yep. you, you mentioned the biological aspect, which is a huge factor mm -hmm. uh, in, in especially the corporate world, yeah. which is very competitive, to mm -hmm. be honest. Mm -hmm. And um, you are out for a year, mm -hmm. even in, in the media industry, and mm -hmm. you come, things have really changed. changed. Yeah. Um, f first of all, how do you keep up with that? And is there a corporate responsibility mm -hmm. on the end mm -hmm. to to factor that in and make sure that um, uh, at least the progress is fair 
at the yeah. end of the day. Yeah, yeah. At, at a corporate level, yes, there, there is that. Like, like for us, what we do is that uh, because one of the biggest challenges is after a, a young lady gives birth, is you know the shock of and the the experience of having a new baby. They need maternity leave, which is reasonable. Mm -hmm. uh, if you pull them back to from their from their maternity leave to to leave the baby and she comes to the office, her mind is never settled because the child is very young. So we, we from long time ago, we gave our, even before the government increased the maternity leave, we are giving maternity leave for 100 days. Mm -hmm. And w if there is multiple pregnancy, we add another 30 days to make sure that the woman feels stable. Then after that, she is given time to be able to be with the child until the child is stable because the, 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 the gen genetic makeup of a woman is to hear the child at home. So you can't ignore that. Men don't have that. So you need to manage her so that psychologically she is able to deliver her services at work and be able to double up herself at home and be able to do what needs to be done because that we cannot take it away from them. Mm -hmm. But then as an employer, you need to, have the, to undertake deliberate actions that makes sure even after this lady is through with that activity you still give her opportunity to compete to compete on the table with, with men so you must come up with deliberate efforts and interventions yes. that lift her back and remember you know women do and the nation a service of bringing children up and also making sure they are reasonable human beings, both men and women, we all go through the same process. So we have deliberately to create systems that gives them the opportunity to compete fairly with men. Definitely. Yeah. That's that's important. In fact, even even the the physical space of yeah. it, uh, it was a huge discussion for the longest time. Mm -hmm. I mean if 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 my child is too young, mm -hmm. yeah, and um, I'm supposed to be coming to work. Mm -hmm. I've even created an opportunity, a space for that. Mm -hmm. I remember mm -hmm. one company did that in the mm -hmm. country and it was big news. Oh, yeah. you have yeah. a space for somebody can place their child and, and maybe continue working. Yeah. Is it, is yeah, it something? It, yeah, it, it, you, you, I, I know there's the company you're talking about where you have a place where, we, where young mothers can bring their children. That's a good thing to do. Mm -hmm. But in practical sense, mm -hmm. it may not work because not every corporate has enough space for that. Yes. And resources for that but what we have done as as a corporate is to create mother's rooms where they they can they can go uh, express their milk store the milk and they are given time of you know they have two times in a, in a day where they can go express their milk store it and when they are taking home it's it's already good for the child and then give them enough time to be with the child in the beginning so that the issues of breastfeeding the child exclusively for six months is put on the table so that uh, they know that this child must be exclusively breastfed for six months because if you don't do that then you have another challenge of the child doesn't come out well the, the woman is always in hospital the child is always and sick so it's an investment as a corporate that you've got to do so in our offices you find that's what we have done where they can they can, they can go express the milk and store it take it home and then leave it with the with the nanny who can be able now to give the child that milk okay. instead of now moving the child to formula milk immediately you you and we we do talk within the institution to enable women to, to focus on that. Because a child who is properly breastfed, exclusively breastfed for six months, that child comes out good and doesn't become a headache for the parent. Ah. Yeah. So there are many ways. The other people, what they do is they have flex time where you can tell them they can come at this time, leave early. So they, women should still work. They should still participate in building the corporates, but they, the employer should create avenues that makes their work easy and giving them an opportunity also to participate in their house house uh, home issues yeah. 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 Uh, that, that's yeah. that's so yeah. incredible to hear that uh, yeah. you know mm. uh, you guys are so intentional yeah. because you know for the longest time the mm. notion about corporate is that corporate has no soul yeah it yeah. doesn't feel yeah all it that yeah. matters is okay have you done what you're supposed to do bottom line is okay yeah. we are good we are at peace mm. but having that personal concern mm. and i know mm. we, uh, now the big one of the biggest discussions that you are having in the world is the issue of mental health mm. i mean the awareness mm. and the spotlight mm. on it is very mm. very credible mm. and uh, when you talk about mental health mm. and uh 
being a man or a woman mm. it's we can't divorce the two mm. it's so incredible mm. uh, maybe from 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 your space and as an mm. organization yeah. uh, are you taking intentional to look at the issue of, of the mental health of, yes. of the people and the people that you serve and work with you also yeah yeah we, we but first of all we have a very good medical cover for our employees it not only covers the employee but it covers the four members of you know their husband and four members of their family so the that is inclusive of the children. So you find that uh, that gives them for the family peace because they know they have a comprehensive medical cover on outpatient, inpatient. So that stops being an issue. Mm -hmm. And uh, the issues of mental health, we have a, a HR department that follows up and looks after our employee. And, and the, the, the work, work-life balance is very observed so that we make sure that people are not straining. And if anybody shows indicate because this, the young people we are employing today, you, you, you know where they are coming from. They are people who have emotional issues. They, are, they, they, they know there are issues that they need to be looked after. That we take care of so that we have a good, a, a, a good work, work, working group. You know, for five years we were voted the bank, the best the best corporate company to work for mm -hmm. by our employees yes yeah because of not because of the salaries you give them but because of the way you deal with their issues oh. and, and that's what every corporate should do every employer should strive to be a good corporate citizen okay. by looking after the environment its employees and its customers okay so once you do those three then the rest of it, any profits you make, you can take it to the shareholder. Before you have done that, you have done the first three, you have no business telling the shareholders you've made profit. You've, you, you've, you, you've ruined your employee, employee's life, you have destroyed the environment, and you have harmed your customers, then you have no business saying you've made profit. Definitely. Yeah. And uh, finishing it up briefly, uh, I know we saw the NSC ring the bell for gender equality, mm. you know, very, very bold mm. steps yeah. that have been outlined. Mm. Uh, and I know we'll, we'll be in the same spot next year. Mm. And uh, we'll have our numbers mm -hmm. uh, in terms of uh, deliberations and holding each other accountable in terms of, um, you know, uh, empowering our women uh, in whichever spaces that we are in. Uh, as a company yourself, are there any goals that you've set that uh, next year when you have a similar discussion, we'll have a ground and say, have you achieved one and two? And mm -hmm. why, did, why didn't you? Yeah. For me, my life is very easy. I have a board that judges me on three things, mm -hmm. which is called the triple bottom line. One, how did I impact my customers financially? Did I make them better or worse? Second, how did I deal with their, their, their social issues? You know, am I doing what is it? And I'm related socially and financially. And then, how did I tackle the environmental issues? How did I deal with it? I report on three things. Mm -hmm. What my charge to a, a, a Nairobi Stock Exchange is, please take these issues and mainstream them. Make them deliverable. So what is not measured is not done. Mm -hmm. If it is gender issues, Let's look at corporates that are in the st stock exchange and let there be a deliverable on gender e balance. Thank you very much, Mr. Gidaiga, for your input. Mm -hmm. I'm Samwangi Gidaiga, Managing Director, Kenya Women Microfinance Bank. And he may say his body is 54% women. He's at peace. What is measured against in terms of his performance interest you've heard him say but key is that what is not measured is not done so even when it comes to women empowerment and pursuit for equity in our society are there goals that are set and is something done so that is not just a ceremony every year that's very important that was our discussion touching on matters gender equity in kenya especially in the corporate space and trickling down to the very very people on the ground in terms of investing in women led enterprises and women businesses well with that said that's all but before i leave you of course we have our markets let's take a look at that
ITN News. Get the whole story. Happy anniversary. Bwana hii mabata kinadar na mamu, bado inaka mpya. Na hii nyumbi mekuwa hapa for so many years. Na piu melele wapa. Wow. Imagine hata likuwa sija notice. Rufus. Wewe ni fundi wangu ameka nyingi sana. Haya mabati atadumu kweli? Huyu kijana nilimwambia anunue mabati ya dumu zas. Usibahatishe mabati. Hakikisha umeangalia alama za kudhibitisha dumu zas halisi. Chagua dumu zas. Mabati inayodumu kuduhu istoshe dumu zas ndio mabati pekee inayokuja na warranty. Sitaki tena kubahatisha. Mabati inayodumu kuduhu.